Safari has kicked off this year's Art Club Arts and Culture Festival, which is underway at Pochef's Room in the Northwest. It got off with a stroll through the botanical gardens where festival goers were treated to a display of uh, intriguing sculptures and photography, ending off with an invisible exhibition at the Northwest University's auditorium. It set the tone for five days of performances by the country's top actors, singers, and artists. Just when you think you've seen it all. Invisible to the human eye, but thanks to technology, I am able to immerse myself into a new form of artistic interaction. I have absolutely no idea what I've just said, but let's have one of the experts explain it. What actually happens is that the floor space is empty, but then the iPad, on your iPad you have an app that you can actually view the art. Um, the app is called um, Invisible. So through the app, you can actually go around and be interactive with the, with, the, with the art. The first leg of the exhibition, called Snake Eyes, resembles dinosaurs being thrown and landing on one perp each. Usually having a negative connotation, it inspired curators to pay two artists who usually work with different mediums to move out of their comfort zones and produce masterpieces of art. We've put two artists together and their work could be completely incompatible but they're sort of gambling on what exciting product could be made through this process. The art safari overall did not comprise works of your typical Picasso or Da Vinci. It was a kaleidoscope of works by young upcoming artists. But it surely did not compromise on quality, yet it provided them with a much needed platform to make their mark. I just think that uh, it's hard for young artists to gain entry into galleries. Um, if they're unknown, uh, it's more difficult for them to uh, reach platforms that are professional and treat them professionally, so we act like a stepping stone. We're not a gallery. Art Club will be in full swing boasting several debut productions, panel discussions about contentious issues like land reform, and honouring the late literary genius like Pierre Duplessis. Nicolene Smallman, SABC News, Potsdam.